Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that is on most people's minds and that is setting goals and resolutions for the new year. So let's get started. Welcome to 2024. And even though it is still winter, I kind of feel like I have just come out of hibernation. I have been gone from the channel for a while now and there were a whole bunch of reasons that just kind of piled up on each other as to why. I think the last official video that I made besides a time lapse was right before my family went to visit other family out of state. And then when we came back, we had family come and visit us and stayed with us for a while. And then the holidays happened and then everybody got sick and then the holidays happened again. And it was just one thing after another, after another, after, after another. And of course, YouTube and art in general sort of took a back burner. The painting that you're seeing now is the last one that I did for 2023. And it was inspired by my favorite song from Tom Waits, which is called Dead and Lovely. I had it stuck in my head. That happens to me a lot. I just get random songs stuck in my head whether I like them or not. Luckily this is one that I like and uh, it was stuck in my head for a few days and I decided to make a painting about it. Hopefully it would go away. I am not actually going to talk about the process of creating the painting too much. This is just a background video. What I want to talk about instead is creating yearly goals for yourself as an artist. This is something that I started doing in 2020 and I've been doing it so this will be my fourth year actually and it has actually helped a lot with me consistently creating art and improving and going to in a direction that I want to go as an artist and with that being said the thing that I think that has helped me stay on track and keep creating consistently and keep improving and keep finding new things that I actually want to do <laughs> when it comes to digital art is creating yearly goals. So I don't do resolutions. Um, I haven't done resolutions in a very long time. I personally think that they're not very helpful when it comes to my personal or professional life. But when it comes to setting goals for art, I find that they do actually help me kind of have like a goal. Like I'm not just drawing and painting because I want to or just for the fun of it, which there's absolutely no problem at all with doing, but it does help me because eventually when art block hits and you kind of have no motivation, that can go into a very extended period of not creating art because you quote unquote don't feel like it. When really it's you're struggling with art block and you should work through that because that's where the most like growth as an artist comes from. So having preset goals for myself helps me stay creating even when I kind of don't feel like it. So if it's something that you're interested in doing for yourself, I'm going to give you a few tips and a few um, examples uh, for myself. You'll see, you'll hear the uh, goals that I made for 2023, how I did on those, and also the goals that I'm setting for 2024, as well as the rules that I set for myself for creating um, artistic goals. And you're welcome to use them, apply them to your own practice or your own structure or, you know, modify them, personalize them however you want for yourself. Because honestly, I follow uh, three rules pretty much when it comes to creating these goals. And that is they should be simple, meaning they should be simply stated. Uh, they should be clear. Like you don't need to write a paragraph for a one simple goal because the more simply stated it is, the easier it is to remember and the easier it is to kind of like stay on track with. They should also be personal, which is what I was just talking about. Obviously, if you have a goal that you set because somebody else told you you should do it or you feel like it's something that you should do because other people are doing it, I don't think that you're going to be very successful. I think that the greatest motivator and the greatest way to stay on track with what you want to do is by doing what you want to do. So set goals for yourself uh, that come from within. They come from uh, what you feel like you want to work on for the year. And they should also be a mix of attainable and scary. So setting goals for yourself that are just easy kind of doesn't drive growth. They're not very exciting to work towards. I feel, at least personally, I feel like I would get bored with uh, goals that I know for a fact I can obtain or attain. Setting goals that are slightly outside of your comfort zone or sound a little bit scary or feel a little bit scary to set, I think is where some of the stretching and the growth and the improvement as a person and as an artist um, really comes into play. So with all those said, let's go through the examples that I had for 2023. So I do write down my goals and I actually use GoodNotes on the iPad to do so. 
And the 2023 goals that I had for myself were to post weekly on YouTube, which was something that I wasn't doing before. I was posting to YouTube, but I was kind of sporadic all over the place. I would go <laughs> months and months without posting, and then I would post like three or four videos a week, something like that. So setting myself a goal to post weekly on YouTube sort of drove me to have a more consistent uh, posting schedule, which sort of kept me accountable to myself, to like creating the art that I wanted to create and to kind of sharing my thoughts and my processes and things like that about it. And it had a side effect that I wasn't expecting because when I set the goal for myself, it was really for myself. And um, it made it so that my YouTube subscriptions actually grew. And again, thank you to everybody who did subscribe in 2023. Um, I was completely unexpected and very, it was a very pleasant surprise. Now, of course, I didn't completely succeed in that goal because as I mentioned the last uh, two and a half months, I have not posted because life, but up until that point, I actually was doing very well posting weekly to YouTube. And I do hope to carry that momentum into 2024. And again, just resume the weekly posting. And that is one thing that I haven't mentioned yet, but it is okay to fail at these goals. I, you know, I'm using air bunnies right now to say fail because I don't think that since you set them for yourself, they're your goals and you are the one you know, in control of all of it. I don't really think that there is failing. There's just not meeting it. And if you make any progress towards it, I feel like that is growth, that is success. So I'm okay with not 100% getting or smashing these goals. I just set them for myself to kind of help myself grow. And as long as they have achieved that, then I feel like it was a success. The second goal that I set for myself was to do the monthly master study. And this kind of broke one of my rules, actually. I set this goal for myself because at the end of 2022, I basically asked the internet what I should do as a monthly challenge for myself in 2023. So I do monthly challenges to keep myself, again, creating when I don't feel like creating and to also help myself learn new things. and. Uh, sort of improve and grow as an artist. But in 2022, I actually don't remember what my uh, challenge was. I'll have to go back and look at my notes and I'll put it down on the screen. 2022 was coming to a close and I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do for my monthly challenge. So I posted on my Instagram uh, for ideas and I gathered a couple of ideas that I thought were interesting. And then I created a poll and the topic that won was master studies. So sort of I thought that I wanted to do it, which is why it was a part of the poll in the first place. But in the end, the internet kind of told me that I should do monthly master studies. And I started off really strong with that. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. That sounds fun. And then I got very bored. <laughs> I think it was uh, July or August that I was just over it. I was just bored doing master studies and I stopped. So again, a goal that I did not completely uh, attain, but I did do a lot of master studies, I did learn, and uh, it did help me push through a couple of uh, instances of art block that I had throughout the year. So it served its purpose, but because it wasn't a goal that I had set myself and it wasn't a goal that I was able to maintain excitement over, it was definitely a goal that just kind of faded away for me. So this year I'm going to be setting myself my own monthly challenge goal. And then the third goal that I set for myself was to refine my art style, which is sort of a nebulous goal. This is one that is kind of hard to tell, like you are the arbiter of whether or not you were successful at that, which is okay, because I personally do think that this is a goal that I was able to um, successfully complete because mostly throughout um, 2022, I was playing with a whole bunch of different styles, just trying out different things, doing different subjects, playing with different uh, workflows. And in 2023, even through doing the master studies, because when I did master studies, I was trying to imitate the medium that the uh, original painting was in, which I think almost all of them were uh, oil paintings. But I was able to embrace my own uh, love, I guess, of digital watercolor and sort of emulating watercolor and marker and ink um, through the digital format. And that is refining your art style. Uh, it's one that I have always, always been drawn to, literally since the very early days of my digital art journey when I discovered Photoshop. And it's one that I have been sort of honing and building up and falling more in love with as I go. So this goal of refining my art style, I think that I was able to successfully <laughs> achieve. 
Now onto the 2024 art goals. And again, these are just examples. These are so that you can start uh, generating ideas if you don't already have some for yourself because it is January 4th now, so you might already have some. But uh, 2024 goals that I have for myself are to build up my Patreon content because at the towards the end of 2023, I did create a Patreon. And the goal and plan for it right now is to have a hub where I can place content that is a little bit more uh, permanent, I guess you could say, and a little bit more long form. I know that the, um, I guess, trend right now for all of online content is short form, short form videos, short form like blurbs, you know, tweets, even though it's not called Twitter anymore, that kind of thing. But I, at, <laughs> I guess at my heart, I'm a rambler and I want a place to be able to have like blog posts and things like that. And I also want a place to be able to upload free resources for uh, people who want them, especially those who are subscribed to my YouTube. I want to be able to actually like support you guys in uh, ways like uploading free resources like um, paper textures, free brushes, free uh, coloring pages, things like that. But I do want to build up that content. Uh, goal two is a monthly tutorial from another artist. This is my monthly challenge for myself. I, speaking of Patreon, I am a patron of about five other artists that I absolutely love and I have to stop myself constantly from hitting that uh, subscribe button or become a member button on Patreon because I don't have a bajillion dollars to spend every month on it. But I love following other artists, I love learning from other artists, how they go about doing things, their processes, um, and their workflows. And right now I just kind of follow and then don't do too much with it so what I want to actually start doing is completing once a month at least completing a full painting that was done following another artist's tutorial and then sharing that not necessarily sharing their tutorial because most of those are behind paywalls uh, but sharing what I learned and the end result so that maybe uh, sharing my favorite artists and why I love following what they do can inspire you to do the same. And then the third goal that I have for myself is the one that, remember that I said that these should be a mix of attainable and scary. Those first two I feel are fairly attainable. They're not, real, they're not too scary and I'm actually excited to do them. This third one is very terrifying for me and it is to create a podcast. Uh, create, not only create a podcast, but actually like make podcast episodes and <laughs> upload those so that they are available to the public. I feel like the, um, the way that I share information uh, via YouTube right now is sort of podcast form as it is, but I want it to be a little bit more structured. I want it to be intentional. I want like each episode, I guess you would call it, to be around a certain topic and then so I can delve a little bit deeper into those topics and then have YouTube videos be a little bit more short and to the point <laughs> and not as uh, rambly like this one is today. So that is my third and scary uh, goal and I promise I will keep you updated. I hope to, I'm starting to build out the plan for that right now and I hope to have it launched sometime around March, but um, I will definitely keep you guys updated on how my goals are going. And I hope that this inspires you and gives you some ideas for creating goals for yourself as an artist for 2024. And if you, no matter what kind of year you had for 2023, I hope that 2024 is an even better one. I hope that it's a fantastic year for you, not just in art, but in all areas of your life. And if you feel so emboldened to share, I would love to see the goals that you set for yourself down in the comment section below. Also, if you have any other comments or questions, you can share those in the comment section as well. Thank you and Happy New Year.